Hi everyone, I'm Anita Winters and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we explore the wonderful world of intuitive art. I'm often being asked about what tools am I using and how to start intuitive art, where to start intuitive art, why to start intuitive art and many other questions that some of them I have already answered in my previous videos or in the comments. And now we decided to summarize it all into a one-stop resource and call it a starter pack and that should help you to get started on your own creative journey. Everything I'll be talking about today is purely based on my personal experience, my thoughts, my beliefs, so I don't have any scientific facts to throw at you. But let me tell you that intuitive art is a game changer. It is a powerful tool to help you overcome stress, anxiety, depression, or just help you to relax and improve your mental well-being. And I think nowadays everyone needs that. So let's waste no more time and let's get started. intuitive art it is important to agree with yourself or why do you want to do it to clarify the purpose and align your intentions and uh, expectations so you can achieve better results I haven't started straight away with intuitive art I didn't know it existed I just wanted to draw I felt the urge to draw so I just got myself some black ink and nips and I was just making black and white doodles. That was my way to relax, get away from my daily routines, to focus on something different. And later on I found out about intuitive art and I started to learn more about it. common question and the one you should care the least about. The beauty of intuitive art is that you don't need to decide straight away. You just utilize whatever you have, whatever you possess in the house now, like a humble pen, pencil, children's crayon, printing paper, newspapers page or magazine doesn't matter use what you already have no need to buy anything right away for me i chose to use acrylic paint pens because it's just easier for me and they're not messy i can come back to my drawing at any time although i would like to do more canvas works but uh, unfortunately as maybe many of us i don't have enough space or time to get into all this mess In 2023, some people are still concerned about you are too old to start or something. And frankly, that's what crossed my mind as well when I was thinking about to start drawing. And I thought maybe I should have thought about it earlier and maybe study arts uh, instead of management. You know, it's never too late to dive into something you love. You all know that the best time is now. There is no any age restriction. You can start it as a hobby, maybe make it into a profession. Like now I want to learn to draw realism and I'm taking online course and I am practicing a lot and that's what I want to do. So that's how it's evolved from the ink. It's never too late or too early, so everyone can do it. The key here is to enjoy the process. It should bring you joy. Although sometimes, as for me, it just doesn't work. My hand just doesn't move or whatever it may. It just becomes annoying. So I would just walk away. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood. I don't know if it's a common thing, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood to draw. So if you don't enjoy it, don't force yourself. It should bring joy. It should uh, help you to relax. It should be uh, playtime. It should be relaxed time. It should be you time so make sure you enjoy expectations 
Don't compare yourself to others. Compare yourself to yourself. It was a hard lesson for me to learn as a perfectionist. And nowadays, in the social media filled with all this incredible, amazing artist. And it's so easy to get discouraged and to give up. Well, don't give up and compare yourself to yourself, not to anybody else. And focus on, on the purpose. With intuitive art, the goal isn't a pretty picture. It's your well-being. So put your well-being first. On this channel, you can often see me using all the vibrant hues, but don't let the vast array of colors to intimidate you. Either it's just one color or the whole palette, it's perfectly fine because it's, it, it's you, it's who you are, it's about you. I started with black ink and look where are we now. Inspiration. And inspiration is a difficult one, but I think, in my opinion, this is something that you don't really need in intuitive art. Inspiration lies within you. Once you start drawing, once you put your hand on the paper and just let your mind flow and it, it comes to you. You don't need an idea. You need a pen, a paper, the flow of emotions or serenity of your soul. It's your choice. Practice. Remember that practice makes perfect. Unlock your creative potential. Embrace your journey and keep experimenting with all the different techniques and different mediums and different styles. A beginner's guide to intuitive art. Remember, it's all about starting and enjoying the process. So grab your tools, let your emotions guide you and embrace the therapeutic power of intuitive art. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy the video, that will help more people to see it. And subscribe for more. Bye.